of God. And the only person that's perfect on record that I know about is Jesus the Christ. And I'm so glad that even though when we make mistakes, all we have to do is do what the Word of God says. If we confess our sins, God said that He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So if you fall down, you don't have to stay down. When you fall down, you look up. You look up to the hills from which come of your help. Where did your help come from? My help comes from the Lord. And I'm so glad that he is a righteous God. I'm so glad that he is a just God. Because sometimes we misunderstand one another. Sometimes we misunderstand our actions and our motives. But I'm glad that God looks into our heart. Because sometimes my countenance might rub you the wrong way. Sometimes your countenance might rub me the wrong way. But I'm so glad that man looks on the outside, but God looks on the heart. God knows our intentions. God knows our motives. And if we keep our motives pure and righteous, we can count on the fact that God is going to avenge us. He will never allow us to be a laughing stock. He will never cause us to come in on the short end of the stick. That's enough to praise him for even right now. God executes it. He executes the righteousness. Listen, the, one of the reasons I'm understanding the, the reason that we had so so many obstacles and problems is because God has a great work for us to do. If we were as a people, as a local church, if we were not a threat to the kingdom of the enemy, then we wouldn't have no problems. But God knows, and the devil's a peep and, and saw the potential that we have. The potential that we have, if we come in here on one accord with one mind and let God have his way the way he really wants to have his way. I like what Pastor said. It looked like that God was speaking to her and speaking to me at the same time. This, although we got some lovely chairs, and thank God for the comfortable chairs, but this is no time for us to sit down and say, well, we're in here now. I might as well kick back. No, the devil is a liar. This is not kick back time. If anything, it's time for us uh, to tighten up uh, and get in line uh, and do a major work for God. Uh, it's time for us uh, to pour out uh, our hearts uh, and our souls to God. Uh, just let me tell you something here. God understands uh, that we have difficulties. God understands uh, that we fall. God understands even our besetting sins. But what God is saying, I'm more powerful than your besetting sins. Uh, God says I'm more than your bad habits. But the problem is you like some of the sins that you're doing. God said, yes, this place is beautiful, but I want you to be a living sacrifice. God said, I want you to be holy and acceptable unto me, which is your reasonable service. What good would it do for us to have a beautiful sanctuary and we live an ugly life? I'm so glad that God has set us free. Let God be 
good thing that's in the flesh. The Bible says that the flesh, the human nature, is an enemy of God. So I got to bring my flesh under subjection. I'm not all that, and neither are you. We're not all that. We have to push for righteousness. We have to push for holiness. We have to push for justice. We have to push for purity. This is a place where we want everybody that God sends here. That's what we want. And we don't want church as usual. No, no, no. God forbid. No more church as usual. Lord, 